Hey everybody, Mark McKelvey here, Product Manager at Upkeep. Today I want to talk about automated downtime tracking, which is a new feature that we're releasing for Data Hub this fall. So downtime, automated downtime tracking is exactly what it sounds like. What we're doing is we're leveraging data from our customers' critical assets, their machines, in order to automatically update the downtime log within Upkeep. And the way that works is we're going to provide our users a uh, you know, limited set, a pilot set, to start with access to Data Hub, and once we do that, uh, we're going to go on site or preferably send them a device that looks like this. And once we send them that device, we're going to hook it up to their control systems, their PLCs, their, con their connected sensors, basically the, the things that are controlling our customers' machines. And once we have that connection, uh, then we'll be able to start pulling data from those machines and then using that to detect and track downtime. So once we've made a connection to our customer's machine, it will show up within Data Hub as a source. So I have two sources here uh, representing two separate manufacturing lines, and I'm connected to a PLC for each one of these particular sources. If I click into a particular source, I'm gonna be greeted uh, first with an overview of the type of metrics that I'm pulling from this particular machine, the data points um, that are going to be available to me. And in this case, I have a number of different data points. I got some, I got the status of a couple of spindles. I got a panel door status. Um, I have some valve temperatures as well as the, some current and runtime metrics that I can measure. Now the key metrics that we're gonna be focusing on uh, in terms of downtime tracking, it's usually gonna be some sort of like on-off metric. So something that indicates the machine is on or it is off or a particular component of the machine, a particular asset on the machine is on or off. In this case, it's probably gonna be uh, the spindle status or in some cases we, we can also measure a uh, particular kind of more uh, condition-like properties in order to detect downtime or uh, whether the machine is, is actually running or not. Something like uh, the current draw for the machine or the power consumption or voltage or something along those lines. Now those are the metrics that we're going to be focused on. Just something that indicates the machine is on or off. Once we've identified that, we're going to head over to our downtime tab and I'm going to create what's called a downtime automation. This is how we're going to get the data from the machine into our downtime log within Upkeep. I'm gonna create a downtime automation and I only have to provide a couple basic things, uh, well, several basic things actually, for in order to start tracking the downtime automatically. So all I need to do is, is give my automation a name. So let's call this the first downtime automation. Um, and then the next thing I need to select is the asset. What's the asset uh, that I'm tracking the downtime for. It's one of a pretty critical component. And I'll have access to any assets that are available in my upkeep account. In this case, let's go ahead and pull in this special downtime testing asset that I'm using. And for that, I'm gonna type in downtime testing asset one. And then from there, I can select a downtime status. Like what's the indicator for the downtime or what's kind of like the classification or category that I want to use whenever we're updating the downtime log uh, for readings. So I'll have access to any of the default downtime statuses as well as any custom statuses. So it's the same thing that would show up whenever you come into the asset details page. And if you were going to manually set the operational, non-operational flag, uh, here I have the default option of non-operational, as well as if I've created any custom downtime statuses, in this case, machine sharing or idle, those will be available as well. So just to show you what I'm talking about, uh, I can select the downtime status here and I just start typing and there's my default option, or I also have the uh, custom statuses that I just mentioned as well, idle or machine failure. So let's go ahead and just uh, pick the default status of not operational. And then the next thing that I need to do is after I've picked the asset, is I need to pick the metric that's going to indicate that this machine is down. 
So if you recall from the previous page, I mentioned that you know some sort of on-off indicator is usually a great pick for the metric. And that's what we're gonna pick here. We're gonna pick this spindle status on or off. And then from there, I'm gonna pick a down state. So what's the state for this particular metric that indicates the asset is down? In this case, it's off, which makes sense. If I were to pick something like current or something that has more of a variable value, uh, in that case, I need to specify a threshold. So what's the threshold below which this machine is considered down. So maybe if I'm measuring amps, maybe it's something below 10 amps means that this machine is down. But let's go ahead and go back to our spindle status. Let's pick off as the down state. And then the final thing that I can pick is some sort of event filter. So I can pick either no filter, include all the downtime events, or maybe if my machine sometimes oscillates between on and off, uh, maybe it's some sort of startup period. I don't want to track those particular events. They're not real downtime events. So if that's the case, I can go ahead and filter out any events that don't last for 30 seconds, or at least a minute, all the way on up to one hour. In this case, we're going to go ahead and take all of the downtime events. And once I have all of those items selected, I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now my automation is set up. I'm ready to start collecting data, and then whenever my data is transmitted. If we detect an off event or a down event, we're going to go ahead and update this particular downtime log here within Upkeep. And you can see the last downtime event that I have was on the 1st of October. Today is the 2nd, so we don't have anything collected for today. Let's go ahead and change that. What I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and send over an off reading. So let me go ahead and send that. All right. So now I have an indication that my machine just went down. I have the off indicator here. And then let's go ahead and send an event that says, or let's, send, let's go ahead and send a reading that indicates the machine is actually back on again. So I'm gonna go ahead and send that. Okay, so now we can see here that I have a downtime event. We were, we were up, we went down, now we're back up again, so we got a complete event. We wanna get that particular event into our downtime log. So again, let's get that event into this log right here and the good thing is Data Hub can make that happen. So all I need to do is after sending those events, Data Hub will at uh, certain intervals, go ahead and sync those events. So I'm gonna go ahead and execute that. And now let's go ahead and refresh this page. So that downtime automation just ran. And let's go and see the downtime log. Okay, great, there it is. Uh, the downtime event has been recorded within Upkeep automatically. And you can see very short downtime event, only 20, 24 seconds. But there it is in the log, automatically recorded. No need for all of that manual intervention uh, or anything along those lines. So reduces those manual processes, allows for like a seamless and scalable downtime tracking capability and provides visibility into assets that may have had issues or may be having issues at the current time. And of course, this data will also show up in Upkeep Analytics because it is part of the usual asset downtime tracking. And if I go to my reliability dashboard, and I can filter on my particular asset, whichever particular asset that I want to test on, and then my data will end up showing up here. I'll have a list of all my downtime events, availability, etc. So 
that is downtime tracking within upkeep, courtesy of Data Hub, coming this fall.